Hey everybody and welcome to Stock Abilities. In this video I'm going to be covering the best ETFs for options of trading in 2020 and beyond. These are ETFs that generally have infinite liquidity and I'm going to cover two different types of brokers kind of platforms to utilize in order to benefit and find the most liquid ETFs no matter what the year or what the time. They're not really seasonal. They're always going to be liquid 24-7 every single day. There's a trading day. I'm going to hop right into it here. <clears throat> One of the best platforms that I'd recommend is Tastyworks. Now, Tastyworks, if you guys are not familiar, is a options trading platform. It was formed from, uh, let's say, TD Ameritrade kind of branched off to Thinkorswim, and then Thinkorswim people came over to Tastyworks, and then a platform for basically options trading was formed, and then they have this kind of unique intuitive uh, research area here. And all you got to really do is click the liquid ETFs. And you, have, you have SLV, you have TQQQ, you have GLD, you have QQQ, you have VXX, uh, and IWM, and a lot of these ones measuring, you know, different volatility, different things like the Russell Index, SPY being basically S&P 500, QQQ, kind of representative of tech itself. So there's a lot of liquid ETFs that you can utilize, and... You can see right here easily with the Tastyworks platform, the IVs. IV, if you guys are not familiar, uh, implied volatility. The higher the volatility, the more the optional move. But at the same time, a higher IV could crush you quicker with a, your option, depending on your entry. Uh, ETFs aren't going to get too high of an IV in most cases. You know, in extreme cases, you can see big spikes on you know uh, you uh, the VXX and UVXY, you know, volatility measurements. But in regards to your standard ETFs, you're not going to see much of a fluctuation on them. As you can see here, though, with the VX, uh, VIX and UVXY, they're already at a high IV here. But most of them trend at a pretty low under 50 IV, which is pretty stable. And as you can see, they have more or less infinite volume here. You have 42 point. 5 million volume on the SLV. These are based, I believe, on just today's movements. So this is liquidity that happened just today. You got 35.2 million on TQQ. You got GLD, which has 8.34 million. You got QQQ at 56.4 million. So these are pretty much infinite liquidity. You know, unless you have hundreds of millions of dollars, you're not going to run into issues of liquidity on ETFs of these kind here. So make sure to check them out if you want some other ones. But uh, just, you know, SPY, S&P 500, it's probably one of the easiest ones to scalp up and down based on it reacts most to global news. You know, so if there's a bearish or bullish headline and it's running up or running down, it tends to follow that trend the whole day through. QQQ, pretty similar here, kind of follows uh, tech market up and down. It was kind of flat today, but... You know, on a week-to-week, month-to-month basis, they're pretty easy to determine and what to scalp and when to scalp. And you'll always have liquidity when trying to scalp them. If you want to find out, you know, options flow on these uh, platform, I'd recommend also is the Trade UI platform. This is pretty straightforward to utilize. You simply can sort it by ETFs, which I have already sorted. And you can enter the ticker right here. The SPY and QQQ are the most consistent in uh, options here, so you can kind of see what, what the order flow is coming in. The QQQ into the end of the day here at 3.59 p.m. had a 290 Friday expiration, 897K conviction. So this is likely going to apply to tomorrow's action. <coughs> And in general, that's uh, considered, at least in my opinion, pretty bearish. You have uh, SPY with uh, some uh, deeper OTM puts. You got a 335 here coming in at 4.06 p.m. Uh, SPY and QQQ. And some other ETFs are open to 4.15. So these are pretty bearish sweeps coming into the end of the day. You know, this gives you a representation of what to expect for the following day. These are all, of course, pretty consistently liquid options. You know, people are... are Big time hedge funds and bank uh, bank people and all these other fund people are holding a rather significant position. 
And they're scalping and they're trading and they're, you know, bouncing around funds in the millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. So these are very liquid ETFs that you're never going to have problems basically selling at any point. Uh, pretty easy to follow. Pretty easy to come back to, you know, full circle here that essentially you want a, a liquid ETF for consistent trading. An illiquid ETF or an illiquid stock is only going to cause you problems down the road. So in my opinion, these are the best ETFs of four options. Trading, SPY, QQQ are the most consistent ones. Whether they're the best or not, it kind of depends on the situation, but they're, easy, they're the most easiest to read because you have basically a global market, which is the S&P 500, and you have a you know, tech market, which is QQQ based.